Comic Boom. Hey guys, Comic Boom here to do a quick review of Event Leviathan Issue 2. And it's quite apparent that Event Leviathan is really not much of a six-issue mystery thriller. There's nothing thrilling about this. You you literally could skip this entire issue. It, it didn't reveal anything of substance. Unfortunately, this is... Um, I'm, I'm gonna ruin it for you. This isn't even a spoiler because it's it was already known already But this is just Batman and everybody on the cover confronting the red red hood because nonsensically They it's never been explained why they think Damien about Three or four months ago for some reason thinks Leviathan is red hood that was never really adequately explained that logic that chain of events that led to Damien thinking that red hood was Leviathan. I don't think it was adequately explained. It, Jamie never really explained his logic. And if it was, I forget about it. Uh, I have forgotten it. And you would think that it would be explained in this issue, but it's not. Batman gives no justification for why he thinks it's Red Hood. Uh, there's none. None. This is, uh, this is not well written. The dialogue here, it's just a, it's a, it is, the dialogue in this issue is, and unfortunately, it's, I say typically Bendis, it's, it is one long dialogue written issue. The first issue here, I really liked, I, the, the, the first issue here I thought had potential. The first issue dealt with uh, the, that huge skyscraper going down, Argus basically being destroyed, and Steve Trevor, uh, make an attack on Lois Lane we, we, I thought I thought that was gonna be I don't know I, I guess I foolishly thought Bendis was actually gonna take this take this seriously and move this matter forward but th this this issue just ends with Batman having a conversation with Red Hood and explaining to him what we know so far which we already know so far because for those of us that have been following it we know that a lot of people are destroying all the intelligence agencies of the world. Leviathan is not doesn't seem to be killing anybody because there's no bodies, and the question waited in the waiting waited in the when Sam Lane was attacked. The question waited in the hospital room that Sam Lane was in, and then one of Leviathan's agents showed up and ended up getting killed by Sam Lane. And. Plastic Man kept an eye on the body of one of the, on Leviathan's agent that, agents that were killed, and eventually Leviathan came to retrieve the body. It's a former Argus agent who was killed, and Plastic Man, I guess, tries to confront Leviathan. Terribly laid out. Uh, wrong artist for this man, Bendis. You said you wrote this for Malieve. Does that mean that you're going to write him so there's no action in it? Is that the idea? Okay. Because if you're writing it because there's no action in it, shame on you. Second, I know it's called, I know it's a murder mystery. It's a part of me. It's a, it's a mystery thriller. Thriller of what? I thought it was an espionage thriller. It's not a mystery. Okay, if it's going to be a mystery, what's the mystery? Who, is, is the mystery who Leviathan is? Because if the mystery is who Leviathan is, well, why don't you move the story along? Move the story along. Move it forward so that it actually matters. We already know that we are move move the story forward so we get some progress in the story please i i, I can't believe this was just a, a one long conversation now the first issue i was forgiving very forgiving of the first issue being one long conversation because i thought it was all set up now we get another thing restating what we already knew from the first issue and again why do you think it's red hood it's not explained why there's just no, why? Because he looks the same? And then at the end, they're all going to chase him down? So they all meet on a rooftop and they're chasing Red Hood down? Why? They never explained to him. Why did they think it's Red Hood? It, it's it's not explained. Because because Arsenal died in, in Heroes in Crisis? This is so stupid. Uh, this is just so badly, badly put together. I just, I don't know why I'm supposed to care. Like... And also, what's the point of Leviathan already? Who cares? What has he really done wrong if he hasn't killed anybody? There's no bodies, there's no murders. So why are we supposed to care again? And the other thing that doesn't make sense is that don't tell me every intelligence agency on the planet has been taken out. That's not even possible. And even if it is possible, well, they would just form one up again. You're telling me the United States government is not going to reform another agency? 
we, he couldn't take out the FBI, he can't take out the CIA, so it's not as if the world's intelligence agencies are actually taken out. So even that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, uh, I, and the other thing is, is what's the point? I, I, I think DC, see, I think the point here, well, I mean, we know what the point is. They want to maybe just create one intelligence agency for the DC universe. Dan Didio, I think, um, gave Bendis that idea. Well, with the DC Universe has so many, so many intelligence organizations like Shade and Argus and Suicide Squad and, uh, oh God, it goes on and on and on and on and on and Spiral and, oh good Lord, the DEO, et cetera, et cetera. So kill them all off so that we can just have one. I'm not really sure what the point is because, first of all, I like Argus. I like Spyro. I, I I like I like Shade, the creatures of Shade. I mean, all those intelligence agencies had their place. I wasn't confused. How is it confusing to have more than one intelligence agency? That's not confusing. That's kind of cool. They they fight. They compete against each other. Isn't that fun? And if you're writing this for the movies, do you want to do you want to do you want to take away the variety in the DC universe and just have one and have one intelligence agency called Leviathan? Why? <laughs> Why only have one? <laughs> Isn't that kind of stupid? You want to be like Marvel with j just S.H.I.E.L.D.? Well, I, okay, all right. If, 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 I, if, I guess you could do that, but can't you have many and just focus on one in the movies if that's your goal? I just, I, I don't know what the, the point of this is. It, it hasn't really been made clear. You know, and, and, and this, this Bendis speak about Leviathan talking nonsense and, and, the, and, the, and the dialogue and the, 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 just the, oh my God, I'm like, what's the point? Get to the point. What's Leviathan's goal here? Well, he wants to have more power. He wants to what? I, you know, I, again, that's the, I guess maybe, if this is, this is a mystery to find out who Leviathan is. Well, first of all, tell me why Leviathan, Leviathan is, is wrong. To, you know, who he is is not the important thing. That That's not the issue. That's not what interests me. I want to know why I'm supposed to care. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. Okay, okay, he granted, he blew up a bunch of buildings. whoop de doo He hasn't killed anybody, has he? He hasn't killed anybody yet. So why should I care? I, I don't know. Uh, th this can be... For something that's supposed to be exciting, why is why is this second issue so boring? I mean, I, I suppose the, the, the cover's a tip-off here, right? Because <laughs> nothing's happening on the cover. <laughs> what an insult to Justice League International, huh? You know, where there was humor and action and, 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 and actually fun dialogue. And then we got the same thing here of everyone looking up and hey, guess what? And guess what else they do in the issue? They talk to each other a lot. That's it. Yeah. Once again, cardiac arrest with Bendis. I, um, there's nothing, you know, I got to give this, if I had to rate this out of 10, I would probably give this a three out of 10. This is a, a massive, massive disappointment. This is going nowhere, uh, going absolutely nowhere. I don't recommend this. You can skip this issue. You will miss abs. You will miss absolutely nothing because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Bendis will restate over four or five pages in the third issue what happened in this one, in in a long conversation. So, in other words, you know what? I'm gonna go down to a two out of ten on this. And the art, Alex Maleev's art. Um, It, it, it is what it is. It, I guess it fits the mood, but um, we need more. We need more. And uh, very disappointed. Guys, tell me what you think of Event Leviathan. Uh, the wind is completely out of the sails. I, 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 I'm really quickly losing interest in this because nothing's happening. And let me predict that by issue six, if this keeps up by issue six, we will know nothing. We will know the same thing we know now. And... I bet you we, we may not even know who Leviathan actually is because it's just called Event Leviathan, right? So I, we might not even know who, who Leviathan actually is. In fact, in fact, I would, I would bet that we won't know who Leviathan actually is by the end of this. And uh, what a bunch of nonsense. What a bunch of nonsense. Chasing down Jason Todd. Why? Where are the clues that would make you think Jason Todd had anything to do with this? What are the clues? 
You had a whole issue and you can't spell out the clues. Instead, you have a long, boring conversation with him and you don't lay out the clues. And Jason Todd just runs away. Why? Why? What evidence do they have that it's his? They never even laid out the evidence. And if we're going to... And, and, and plead Bendis. Bendis, if you're going to give us evidence the next issue of why you think it's Jason Todd, then you're... Then, then, then you're why didn't you say it in this issue? I'm... The, this is the type of bad storytelling that, that frustrates the hell out of me. And it, it, it frankly, it angers me a little bit. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this thing before I go off too much on, on a rant. I'll do a rant video because this, this deserves a rant. Uh, because I'm telling, you, I'm telling you, just when I start to like something with Bendis, it brings me up and down again and up and down again. But guys, tell me what you think of Event Leviathan. Or not, it's okay if you don't. Because I know if you don't, it means you haven't read it, right? And that's okay too, because you're not missing much. And uh, tell me what you think. If you want, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Metropolis40. Until next time, Comic Boom out.